please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Then you know uh, one of the big stocks that fell last week was ICICI Bank. I mean it was down 10%, <laughs> and now we know that uh, G C uh, Chaturvedi would be the new non-executive chairman. Of course, he is a, a, a former bureaucrat. He has been in the board of a lot of state-owned banks, etc. But do you think this appointment will allay concerns of the investors, the regulators, etc.? I don't think so, but it's it's a maybe a good thing that they have changed the chairman because the last one did not exactly conduct himself in a great fashion around the Chanda, Chanda Kochar controversy. But, you know, if these reports, and we spoke last time I was here about ICICI Bank and how maybe the stock is bottoming out now, and subsequently you hear about stories of window dressing, etc. We don't know what is true and what will come out. But if we think that one ornamental non-executive chairman at the top will actually sort out every, all decision making and window dressing in ICICI Bank. That's not going to happen. You need a management rehaul, you need a very strong board out there, and you need to make public all the uh, issues which are haunting the stock right now, including these allegations of window dressing. So I think the stock might probably hold a range 250 to 300 for a while now and be volatile depending on what kind of disclosures come out. I still think it's the last innings of pain but we need this bad news out and this suspicion which is hanging over the stock restricting its valuation today. Absolutely. But I guess it's getting bailed out by its, uh, by its subsidiaries. Uh, I mean, the insurance company and all that uh, adding to the value of the stock. So it's not falling below that 280 mark uh, too much. Uh, but uh, speaking about banks, I guess it's the IDBI deal that, uh, uh, you know, is perhaps a bigger shocker in terms of governance standards. Uh, uh, the IRDA permission came surprisingly easily. Uh, what, what are your thoughts? Well, you said it, uh, Lata, you used the word shocker. I mean, what more can one add to that? It is completely a shocker. But we shouldn't be surprised, right? I mean, we've seen, I mean, down the years, so much of public money being wasted, either directly by the government or through institutions or companies owned by, uh, by the government. And I think this is an important, I don't think IDBI Bank can be turned around by LIC. I mean, the rot goes far deeper. It's really wishful to think that an LIC pumping in 10,000 crores will change anything at the bank. I mean, we've seen what happened with the last round of recapitalization, which everybody was talking about, a miracle and a game changer for the Indian economy. That money has gone down the drain, and nobody's asking any questions. Uh, and s exactly the same will happen with IDBI Bank. But you know, this, there is a broader lesson in all of this. I think for investors, the lesson should be stay away from public sector stocks. Because at any moment, the government can just, through a phone call, make you take a capital allocation decision which goes against your every interest. It happened with oil companies, it happens with power companies, it happens with pretty much everything, uh, banks that the government owns. So the government is hell-bent on destroying its own balance sheet and destroying the balance sheet of every public sector company that it holds a majority stake in. And that, I should think, should be the important takeaway. Stay away from PSUs. Do not buy them because they will destroy wealth over a period of time. Okay. Uh, we'll then stay on. Uh